Hey guys, and welcome to Let's Play Warrior Land 3. I am Spinit X, and this will be my, well, my new, my new Let's Play, so. And we can play it in Japanese if we really want to, but, you know, this is English. For whatever reason, I can't find, like, the correct ROM, it's only English. But that's beside the point. Warrior has crash landed in this forested area here. And there's this cave. And the logical, the logical thing to do in this situation is to go into the cave. So that's exactly what he does. And then he becomes discolored by some, some magical light in here that's not really discoloring anything else. And he finds this music box, and it just, it, the music box, box starts flipping out, and he's going to get like sucked into it. Perfectly logical plot right here. Well, not really, but do not... Well, before I talk about the plot, I'm, let's actually read the plot, because you'll pretty much see all of it within the first, like, few minutes. And oh my god, there's a face. Well, that, he kind of had the same reaction I did. This is a hidden figure, apparently. Are you a wary Wario? Well, I, I guess. But this world is in the music box you were peering into. Oh, okay. Uh, okay. I was the god that protected this world. But one day, a wicked being sealed away my power and took control of this world. Wario, I want you to find the five music boxes needed to break the hidden seal and recover my powers. If you find them, I'll send you back to your own world. Of course, all the treasure you find is yours to keep. Will you help me? Well, th there's treasure! There's what you need to say yes! There's treasure involved! There is treasure, will you say- what will you say? Thumbs up. Thumbs up means yes. Thumbs up. That's encouraging. Anyways guys, we- well, we'll be out of this map right here, but let's talk a little bit about the plot. Like, we're basically stuck in this music box and it says to find all these other music boxes, like some sort of like, uh, music box exception, the music box is in the music box to get out of the music box. And we'll be seeing a lot a lot more of this map. There are basically if you can see in this uh, top left corner here, there's there are these uh four compass points and there are gonna be four parts of these worlds and well I I can explain a little bit more, we're gonna go into the woods. And this is a game that's a little bit uh less known. I believe actually the first Warrior series was is a Mario game, and in this game, anyways, we um we're an invincible Wario, and the objective of each world is to um find the key, a colored key. This is a silver key or gray, and there will be four different like color chests, and they'll be accessible at different times. And basically, we're gonna find all of them. Well, you don't have to find all of them, I think you need... You can get, like, uh... You just need ones to advance the plot, really. And then there's all these optional ones you can get. There are also these, uh, big coins here. Which, I believe, give you both coins, and they give you, um... And they... Well, well... I'll, there's eight of them in each world, and... You can get them to unlock some... I think a minigame or something, I've never actually done it. And you're also affected by the environment around you, such as, um... This fire right here. Now, I'll set you on fire, and you can basically, like... In this case, you'll be setting fire, you can go through these special blocks. There are a lot of, there are a lot of other things like this in the game that will actually change you, that, um, will affect you in the environments. Because, as I'm pretty sure I said before, Wario cannot die, he can only be, like... Bothered to the point of wanting to quit the game because you can't do something. And come up, oh, come on. See something like that, well, it'll just like start to bother you. You'll start to um, it'll just start to be like, eh, I really don't want to do this anymore. That it, it is a very fun game, but there are things like uh, that green key that I cannot get to right now. Some sort of upgrade maybe, because in this game you can also upgrade Wario through um. I think there are like 10 different powers, I can actually bring that up in a second. Yeah. Action help. There are like, all these powers that I can learn, this is basically what we can do now, we can do pretty much nothing. So I'm not even going to bother showing it. Anyways, 
we found this matching chest. He'll try to open it, and he'll think, hey, I have this colored key, and he'll open it. What is this? What is this shenanigans? It is an axe. It is a hatchet. And see, you, you won't be able to collect all of them. You can collect them all once you get like, fully upgraded. And an axe. Where I found an axe, it'll affect the environment around him. Not necessarily like the worlds. Well, I can do that too, but it'll affect this map, which allows us to progress. I'm not sure we couldn't get to the peaceful village before that, because that tree wasn't even remotely in the way. And then it also, also unlocks the vast plain. So let's uh, go ahead and do the peaceful village first. Another mechanic that's in this game is the uh, day-night mechanic, which is uh, what we are seeing right now. It is uh, nighttime here, so it'll be a little bit different. In the nighttime, there'll be what these zombies. It's, and I'll show you what they do in a second. It's similar to the uh, fire of the torches. Oh, no. Where it will it'll change. Like, here's another thing that can set you on fire. And then, if this zombie will come out. Zombie, come on. Come on. Stop the. Oh, there you go, come on. And it'll bite you, and you'll become basically this very slow zombie that can kind of jump, and that's about it. Except for his little zombie thing that you can jump up and you will actually float through like uh, thin platforms. And you will basically stay as a zombie until you find the light. We didn't exactly need that, but we couldn't exactly um, get out either. So, wait, it's, I don't think it's that one. Um, oh crap. Yeah, the easiest way is just to duck under them, or to- I, I think you can jump as well, but I digress. Um, crap. I did not mean to show you that, Knight. This will make no sense to you, I'll show you in a second. God. This is another one of the upgrades, not upgrades, the little environment changing things that, um, will make you fat and you can basically do stuff. And come on, let's find out where this super chest is. Uh, come on. Was it seriously the one over here? I'm gonna get so mad at this. Oh, no. Come on, zombie. No! God, no! God! Oh my god. Little things in this game, I swear. Oh my god. These are just... <sighs> okay, let's make our way all the way back up to the top. All the way back up to the top. Oh, this is so ob oh my god. This is so obnoxious. Don't run into them. And in this door, that probably was the light door, right? Yeah. Up the ladder, and we found the same silver chest. And for whatever reason, Warrior will try to open it without the key again. Because, you know, he he won't try it when there's no... I, I don't even know how to describe it, he's just... Warrior, you think you'd learn by now, Warrior. And we got like half a plate or something. And, well, I'll show you anyways. Here's like, the, here's this in the daytime. And, as you can see, it's a little different. It's light outside, and there are these little midgets with donuts. And they make you fat. And basically what you can do with that is you can, uh, break through blocks like this. Or you can, uh, will actually be, uh, thicker blocks that you can break through, that you can't break through yet. And you can also go to the map at any point in the game. Any points. So there's really no point in, uh. Oh, I can explain that later too. These things. These things can die. So can these things. And basically, what these do, you basically have to run into a wall, and then they'll, they'll stop. But otherwise, they just make everything dark. These guys, they will make a potion that will, like, make you invisible. So then these things, these doors with the eyes, they will not see you. So we're just going to kind of make our way across this. And here's this chest. And here's this key. Okay, that's easy. That's, that's a little too easy. Except for I'm right here, as you can see. I'm kind of jumping on top of it. And it is not doing anything because I need to be visible. I'm just going to grab this right now just because I can. And when you go through a pipe, you are back to being Wario. And so let's make our way back up. And just across over here. Lots of fun, lots of fun.
Trust me guys, these will get a little bit more difficult. These will get a lot more fun, these stages will. But you know, as as with any beginning game beginning of any game, it'll be a little bit slow to begin. And there's a, another half of a plate or something. I wonder where that goes with. That's another thing we'll be seeing a lot in Warland 3. There's items that you'll find in these chests that will go together or work in conjunction with something else. And they'll stick together and they'll magically open something. What is it? It is this door over here. And now we will be able to make our way to the next part. The west side. The west side. The west side of the map. Um... We have time. These are these are pretty easy ones. This will be a stage that will be a little bit more different. Like right here, there's these things, that, these sand hands that will allow you to um basically be able to uh, pull you down to the sand. And I'll show you that in a second. But eh, I don't even want to show you. But here we are. We're just gonna make our way down here. And still nothing really exciting. And actually, maybe I can show you something else. If I'm lucky. Oh, oh no, come on. Come on, little spiky guy. Spiky. Pike. I mean, call you Pike. Actually, I don't even know. I'm probably gonna forget about that. And then, I, I can make a little counter about big enemies too. Big enemies take two hits at the moment. Spoiler alert. You will get things that'll upgrade things, like, uh. Like your little arm. That, this. Seriously, that's. That would. That'd be painful to, like, run against. You run against these like little broken blocks. That just okay. That's what I was looking for. Those little silver coins. Basically, they're worth ten coins of our um. Damn it! I just yeah, I did that. God crap. Basically, they're worth ten of these coins, and I'll show you what to do with the coins later because they will not tell you until a little bit later. This is another one of those things where it'll be. Oh, that was really quick. I've never done that before. But this is another one of those really annoying things that you'll have to wait out, but it'll be a little upgrade that will let you jump higher. Come on. Come on. There you go. And me and all of my infinite wisdom decided that I was not going to collect the key first. So let's just get over here, get this stupid key. Um, come on. This is obnoxious. And let's just jump over, we'll crouch down, collect this key, and now, let us go back. And this little sunblock, this will, I'll show you why this is important also in a second. I feel like I'm putting off a lot of stuff when I'm... There, there's a lot of little things in this game. Like, with any other puzzle platformer kind of thing, that's, that's the way I describe this game. There are just all these mi No, no, oh my god, no. Oh my god. Come on, come on, come on. Oh my god, you stupid. This is what I was talking about when I meant tedious, annoying things that just happen. Just do not let these things hit you. Just, do, no matter what you do, these are s oh my god. Come on. Nope. Okay. Now you, I'll wait. I'll hit your head, and you'll die. You over and you, I swear, if you get me, I will. Okay, and we are back. We have gotten all the way back to this chest, and the warrior will do his little thing again. Come on, come on, warrior. It's not really that difficult. And it is a piece of paper. It is the. It is a ripped piece of paper. I wonder what we'll do with that. You know, maybe maybe we'll find like another half of this paper. Maybe, maybe possibly. So you know, here's my. No this is crazy. So call me maybe. I, I don't even. I don't even know. I made a reference to that. Oh, main difference. The sand is no longer like rushing. It will. No there will no longer be things pushing you down. And that's really all to say. And if we go over here to this side, I didn't show you before the other side, but. Suddenly, it's nighttime, all the enemies will be sleeping, and this day, the sunblock, they will not be able to get past it. So we'll just go over to this other side, and 
Come on. Lo and behold, this moon block you can get through. Just, okay, no. You can also um, avoid being, uh, letting yourself be eaten by those if you just duck. It's kind of like the cure-all. Like, just duck. Okay, I can't even show you, but... Whatever. Nope, no, go down. Okay. Come on. And then, same pattern as before, just in here. Nope. These things I will explain later, but I hate them with a passion. These things I'll be hit by anyways, so I'll probably... I'm not gonna do it on purpose, but... Oh, see, I knew it. You just get split in half. Oh my god, no. These things, they will blow. They will blow you. They will wrap you up in their ball. There's no good way you can say that. You'll be like wrapped in the thing, and I'll show you later. Just, oh my god. And we found the red chest. Our first red chest of the game. It doesn't mean it's any better. It's just... It's just later in the game that you get them. And there's a second piece of paper. Yay, Warrior, you're so excited about this. You're so happy. And we will stick we will stick these two pieces of paper together and they'll magically become one piece of paper. It does not work like that in real life. You can move a piece of paper in half and it will not help you in the slightest. Okay. Anyways guys, thank you so much for watching. Let's just go back to here. It is daytime, but thank you so much for watching and I'll see you guys back in the next part. Thanks.